guys? I'm Tasha. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys enjoyed the official first week of summer. I'm super excited that it's summer now and I'm sure you guys are too. This weekend I'm going to show you how to make a peplum tank top out of an oversized men's button-up. I went thrifting and I found this really crazy button-up at Goodwill. I loved the vivid colors and the print and it reminded me of Fresh Prince or just the 90s in general, kind of like a DJ Jazzy Jeff or whatever his name was type of feel. So I thought it was super cool and it had a lot of potential. So let's hop right into the video. So the first thing I did was cut both sleeves off because I knew that I wanted to change up the neckline. Then I tried on the shirt and I determined that I wanted to cut it about a little bit above my belly button. Then I used a tank top as a really rough reference on how to take in my sides. I'm only worried about the sides because again, I'm going to change the neckline. So I pinned the sides of the tank top onto my new shirt. Then I tried it on and made any further adjustments on the pinning based on my body size to make it nice and snug. After that, I just stitched my new sides together. I'm just using a basic straight stitch. And then after that was done, I just cut away the excess. Then I drew two diagonal lines going from my new armpits to the top of the shoulder where the shoulder meets the collar and don't be like me, actually measure yours and make sure both are even because mine were not even but I can go back and fix that later. And once you get up to the collar, don't cut right through it. Make sure you fold up the collar and go around the bottom of the collar. Then I just did a very basic hem on my new armholes slash neckline. And again, I'm using a very, very basic straight stitch. For the peplum, you'll need to measure the circumference of the bottom of your shirt. So measure the bottom laying flat and multiply that by 2, that's your circumference. Then take that number and divide it by 6.3. That number is going to be the inner circle of our peplum. So take the bottom of your shirt, fold it in half, and we're going to work with the top folded corner of the bottom of our shirt. And it's kind of going to be like the circle skirt that we did. You're going to work with the top corner, take your tape measure, and draw out that measurement that you got. I rounded mine up to five, so just draw that on the inner corner and connect that. And then from that arc, you're going to measure how long you want your peplum. On this video, I did seven and a half inches, but then I realized that I didn't have enough fabric for that, so after I stopped recording, I went back and changed it to six and a half inches, and all you need to do after that is cut that shape out just like a circle skirt. So once it's all cut out, you'll end up with two pieces like this. One piece should still have the ability to open. It should have a button in it. So you'll end up technically with three pieces. Place them right sides together and sew the two horizontal sides at the top so you can make a complete circle instead of having two donut half kind of things. So here I am just sewing the top vertical pieces of the two donut halves. So now I'm taking my completed peplum, turning it inside out and upside down and making sure that the side with the button is facing up and inserting the top of my peplum shirt into the peplum. At this point you can unbutton the peplum because you're going to need to sew each side to their corresponding side so that the peplum top can still have the ability to open and close and button shut when you are done sewing your project. So 
So of course, I am just sewing my peplum onto my shirt. I know the sewing parts get really redundant and they all look the same. I'm sorry guys, but I just wanted to show you that that's the next step that I took. After that, I simply hemmed the bottom of my peplum all the way around and that is the very last step and you are done with your new awesome peplum tank top out of a men's oversized button up shirt. enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and share it with all your friends all over the web this DIY I am super in love with and I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of this in the summertime it's just super cool and as you can see I'm still wearing it because I love it so much so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys next week in a new DIY video and if you guys have not seen my previous video you may not know that actually while you're watching this right now I am in Anaheim at VidCon and today's the last day of VidCon but tomorrow is Disney Day so I'll be at Disneyland as well if you see me say what's up <laughs> all right so I am leaving now peace out guys Mwah. love ya bye if you haven't done so already, you should check out my two previous videos. I have a haul from Memorial Day sales, and I also did a DIY on suspender skater skirts. So check those out by clicking the links on the screen right now, or going to my channel if you are on a mobile device. You can follow me anywhere on the web. I will have all the links down below, and I will see you guys later.